Um, hello beautiful people. I hope everybody's doing great. Um, if you're not good, please do something about it and make sure that you are good. It's very, very important for you to be good and to be happy, you know. Let's chase happiness uh, above all things. Let's chase happiness. So today's video is a little bit, um, I mean, it's a, it's a topic that I do not find funny. Um, and I think it's a topic that is important for us to open up and like a conversation that needs to be opened up and i think it's important for us to have that conversation and the title of the video is um you teach people how you want to be treated um be it in a friendship be it in a relationship being at work like you tr you treat every single person that's in your life how you want to be treated so how people treat you um it might be from their side but if you allow them to treat you like that that means you are okay with it um and i think for me it might be the simplest thing all right the first thing that i think about when somebody does something is is it a big deal how does it make me feel can i live with it and when i go to sleep at night is it gonna haunt me that i let this person get away with whatever it is that they did that i didn't like i'm just like no you know it's okay that they did whatever it is that they did but most of the time um we let why is this kid shouting? Like when you get a chance, please don't use that chance to make babies. Like literally, why is the kid shouting? Yo, I, okay. Um, most of the time, we allow people to treat us like crap because we are afraid that we're going to lose them. We are afraid that we're going to lose the things that they do for us. We are afraid that they or you just comfortable in that space let's say if in a relationship for example you were with a guy and this guy is a douchebag and this guy is abusing you or this guy is just simply doing things that you don't like and you tell him about them about them like dude i don't like what you're doing but they continue to do those things um i do not understand why then people choose to still stay or like it goes both ways and a girl treats you the, the, that way i don't understand how like I'm, I, I try to wrap my head around how do you allow yourself to still be in a situation where you are aware that I hate how this person makes me feel. I hate that how this person is treating me, but you still stay there. If it means me telling you how I feel, um, I'm going to lose you. So be it. At least I'll have a peace of mind and at least I will not have a person who treats me like trash. Um, I'll be happier without you around. I'm not saying that people don't change um, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't tell people and give them chances. I'm, I'm about that. I'm about telling a person that I don't like this. I don't like this, but I will not sit there for six months seeing. Guys, you see where a relationship is going. You see where a friendship is going and you see the kind of environment that you work at. You have a very, you have a boss that is literally toxic. They talk to you how they please. They do the things that you just like did you forget that i'm a human being or what and you still stay there and yes the unemployment rate whatever guys i understand that but the most important thing is to gut your heart and to gut your mind because that is not fixable you can always go and start over and find another job and find another boss and yes i'm not saying uh, jobs are easy and everyone is different but tell your boss and that's what i do i'm not i'm not giving you advice that i do not choose if somebody does not treat me well or if somebody um does stuff that i do not agree with with all due respect i will put it on the table that okay this and this and this and that i don't think it's inducive for me and i don't think it creates an environment where i can be creative i'm a creative guys and i like being free i do not want to work or like <laughs> no i do not want to be in the situation like that i want to be in a situation that is good for me to be creative and to come up with creative ideas or to work in a good environment people can have moods but there are people who are literally just narcissists and they are disrespectful and they are just bad people and you're like if that means i have to leave then i will leave but i will put it on the table and tell you that i do not appreciate this and this and this and that and i do not appreciate how this makes me feel and best believe most of the time people do listen um i don't want to lie to you people do listen the bosses do listen and um, that's my experience at least um people do get where you're coming from because you're not fighting like i'm not fighting you i'm just telling you how this is making me feel and 
if you genuinely want me to be still be part of this team then i believe that around me this is how i would appreciate you to act because it will enable me to deliver a product that you are proud of and that i am proud of otherwise if i work really scared of you that you you and also i can't be working at the back of my mind that somebody's going to fire me like <laughs> i i cannot work like that because a lot of bosses actually do that they put us in situations where we always get me like this person's going to fire me um i am from a christian background and my mom taught me something and she said even at church if something is for you it will be for you and nobody's ever going to take it away from you if something is for you it will be for me if you get fired chef that that was not your work and even though maybe it's how christian make themselves feel better it works for me walking away i'm like ah uh-uh, god on better says things as a better and i always live with peace knowing that there is better waiting for me like i said on my previous videos you have to find something to hold on to especially in a world whereby a lot of people are broken and a lot of people are hating other people and a lot of people don't take accountability for their actions or are responsible for their actions all we can do we can try and put up videos every week and say hey guys let us try be kinder if a person doesn't want to be kind move away from them um you can never force another person to act the way you want them to act you can only change your life you can only take decisions about your life but you can never make another person decide to treat you better you can put it on the table say hey i don't like how you're treating me but you can never make them take a decision to be a better person so we can write codes every day we can do um the meetings every day for people to be kind and to treat people with respect but until each and every one of us decides to do that then it's your choice how you let those people treat you um and unfortunately through my life na guys i i love peace okay i love peace i love laughing like na I'm, anybody who knows me knows that i'm always laughing like 99 or oh, okay let's say 7 97% of the time i'm literally always laughing because laughing laughing makes me feel good i love being happy i'm obsessed with being happy anything that takes away my happiness like literally kills me and at the top of my list it's happiness at the top of my list of all the things that i want to achieve in on each and every single day is happiness um and i'm very conscious about it and i'm very deliberate about it and i'm like i want to be happy i'm aware that i want to be happy and i'm also aware that i have to take certain steps um to being happy and unfortunately i live with human beings so i will have to live with human beings in a harmonious way but i i also am aware that i cannot force people to to treat me how i want to be treated if people allow me or if people are willing to then people will stay but if they're not willing to then they can go guys i'm okay with you living with everything i'm okay i'm okay with you living with all your money i'm okay with you living with like anything that you ever given me and you want it back i'm okay giving it back to you and you live my life and i know that for a fact i would live a peaceful life i know i'm rambling but what i'm trying to say is all of us make a choice of allowing people to treat us in a way that belittles us that makes us feel unworthy that gives us a lot of anxiety and a lot of anxiety actually comes from other people which is because you just like i feel very insecure around this person i don't know how to act around this person and all i'm saying is guard your soul um take decisions for your life because it's your responsibility at the end of the day and we can sit here as your friend and feel sorry for you that oh shame he's doing this to you i mean it's your fault that you are allowing this person as hard as it is guys it's your responsibility that you are allowing people to treat you in a way that you know you don't deserve and i want to say i don't know about people older than me and i can't say anything guys i've never been at 26 27 or 28 or 50 i've never been that but for a person younger than me what i want to say is as a little girl or a little boy you need to be very direct about the kind of life you want to live about the kind of people you want to hang around about the kind of partner you think you deserve because each and every person knows what they deserve and what they don't each and every one of us knows what feels good for us and what doesn't but we just decide to make excuses for people we just to decide to let things slide but at the end of the day they haunt us you know when when you are in an argument with someone eh? and you decided to keep quiet in that argument and then you get home and then when you sit with yourself you're so disappointed you're like how the hell did i let that person get away with that 
Guys, I mean, I've never fought in my life. I've never been in a physical fight in my life. But that's because I don't allow things to get there. If I feel like this situation is not good for me, I either tell you or I just move away completely. Because I know that I do not want to get to that. Not even once. The only person I've ever fought with is my sister, but also like siblings fight. But I've never fought with anyone outside of her. And I am aware that I never want to get to that point. I know how I want a guy to treat me. And I'm very, like each and every person who's ever been with me, they know that I am very direct and I'm very sure of how I want to be treated. And if you don't want to treat me like that, I'm okay losing you. I know how I want friends to be. And each and every person who has ever been my friend and has left the friendship or has stayed, they know exactly how I want to be treated. My mother um, knows exactly how I want to be treated because I have these conversations with my mother. Um, actually, we do. If I do something that does not make her feel good and she feels like, okay, this is not good, um, we will talk about it and I will decide to either change um, or she will decide to change as well. But all the relationships that I have, because I believe in nurturing relationships and I believe in having good relationships where I feel worthy and I feel loved and I feel like somebody cares for me as much as I do for them. I am not Jesus. Um, that's one thing for sure. I will not give you a long rod, a long rod to hang yourself. I will not do that. Um, I will not sit there for years and years and years being with a guy because I have kids with them. Um, and they treated me like trash, but the matter of the fact is that they love their kids. Let me tell you something. If a guy wants to be a father, there will be a father regardless of you being there or not. If a person, like being a father is not dependent on your partner. Being a mother is not dependent on the person you're being with. Being a mother is being a mother. So if that person wants to pass away today, then what? You're still going to be a mother and you're still going to continue with your life. So I, I do not want girls especially maybe teenage pregnancies or i don't know but any woman i don't i don't wish this upon any woman to be with the guy because they love their kids they should love their kids and they should take care of their kids but they should also love you the way you want to be loved they should also give you the things that you also want because you are not your kids you are a human being like i think it's a group <laughs> yes but it's not group work just because they love their kids now you have to stay and be abused by someone no and a guy who loves their kids, they will love their kids whether you are with them or not. Like as we see on social media, like even like co-parenting is becoming a thing where yes, you love your kids and I'm aware that you are a father, but I'm going to move on with somebody who makes me feel good. I will not stay there because of that. And I'm proud of people who do that because I'm like, even as a parent, you do have a choice for your life. Guys, being a parent does not mean you don't have choices. I mean, I, I mean I'm okay with my mother making a choice that, okay, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do that. Um, I've, all my life I've been okay with my dad leaving us and going to live his life because it's a choice that he made and I would never force him to be there and I respect him for doing that because if it gives him peace guys all of us are trying to survive hey if it gives him peace I will also have peace knowing that nah this guy will sharp because I've never lacked anything in life I've never had I can avoid <laughs> I can avoid I'm okay because I'm aware that each and every person even my parents they need to be happy and they make decisions that make them happy and i am proud of them for doing that and i will never force anyone to be in my life not my mother not my sister not my i will not allow anybody to, if you want to be in my life you will live the way i want to be and i will also try to live the way you would like me to live because now nah, if there's anything about me that i pride myself in and i wake up every day and i'm very conscious about it is that i will go above and beyond for the people in my life i will try and meet them where they want to be met or they where they feel they need to be met and i believe that i also deserve to be treated that way and i deserve to be met where i would appreciate to be met um so what i'm trying to say in closing is that um you must teach people how you want to be treated and you must never find yourself allowing people to treat you in a way that you do not appreciate and it doesn't matter who like a guy who gives you money i'll tell you what a guy who loves you will give you money and still respect you. So you don't need to be with the one who doesn't respect you. And guys, had they kiss many frogs until Prince Charming. <laughs> Something like that. But what I'm saying, you, you're not stuck. Just because he gives you money in your age. Guys, there's abundance of money in the world. You can make money. Don't worry about like, don't make money a thing that keeps you in a relationship. 
that's the, 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 the that for me that's the weirdest thing where people stay because no he does this for me he, no a person must love you you must feel loved guys you know when you, there's there's that thing where you feel loved like you know that this person loves me and i feel it with my because relationships in jay i feel like i don't know i don't know um i don't know but what i know for sure is that that's what i know i'm not gonna die from being single um i'm not gonna die from walking away what i know is that i'm gonna die i had to take in being in a relationship a toxic that i know a relationship i feel like no i deserve better i know that's gonna kill me and that's gonna kill my spirit and it's gonna take my smile away from me and i never want to lose my smile because i want to laugh and i want to smile all the time so so please don't put yourself in a situation whereby you are stuck um somewhere in a friendship Yes. Like I that I don't know, but But you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe that these people are coming in my life to make my life better. They're not coming like don't bring people my life in your the problems. People in your life are meant to make your life easy, you know? Because there's a lot of things that you're dealing with. Just make sure that the people that are there are people who actually want what's best for you and they are people who wants to make your life easier so yeah that's all i'm trying to say and that's my message that girl no or boy know your worth um and that's not just the same know your worth know what you deserve know and be clear like when you communicated with other people be clear about it um you have to sit down with yourself and you have to know your limits and you know you have to know the things that make you happy and that make you tick and you have to communicate it even when you enter into a relationship or a friendship you have to communicate those things because they are really important um yeah that's all i want to say and i wish you nothing but the best in being the version of yourself that you love and in being in a life that is very wholesome and that is very peaceful and that is very loving and do not never be fearful of walking away um walking away is not a sin and you did not kill anyone as long as it's for your sanity and for your peace um just walk away if a person is not willing to change but if they are willing to change and you can see that actually they're working on it um they deserve um, people do deserve second chances and people do deserve for you to be a little bit patient with them but if you can see because definitely you can see that okay this person are not change but they're not doing anything about it um then kindly walk away um, with all the love and all the respect that you can master um just walk away and go and live your life but do not allow yourself to be in situations that are not good for you yes and i wish you this week that's our motto um to teach people how we want them to treat us um so let us wake up every day and think about what makes me happy um how do i want people to treat me and 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 i wish you nothing but the best it's not the simplest journey it took me a lot of years to get where i am mentally um but i am there right now and i know what i deserve and i'm very clear in the things that i want in life um and i i know that i'm going to achieve everything but also i know the kind of people that i need around so i also hope the same for you um and yeah um if you liked this video if it meant something to you please don't forget to live with don't forget to like share and subscribe i don't say this a lot i even forget about it don't forget to like share and subscribe um we have 50 subscribers that's good um i like that <laughs> um yeah so thank you for being here and for finding yourself here and i hope this video gives you an urge to do something about the things that you actually don't appreciate that other people do thank you thank you thank you and have a brilliant week